Yo, what's good, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Make It Happen, right here on the Make It Happen channel, where reaction is life, and life is reaction. My man, James W.S., asked me to do some Al D. Why you hate me, man? And that's a good question. Why do we hate? Seems like the world's at equilibrium. There has to be some love, just like there has to be some hate. But I'm gonna let Al D. answer that in this uh, upcoming song, so... Like always, and without further ado, I'm going to throw on the reaction switch that can be found, that can only be found right here on the Make It Happen channel. So as always, man, let's get into this shit. That's a smooth ass beat. He's speaking, man. They don't want to fuck with you until you make it big, you know what I'm saying, until they see you doing some shit. It's just the way of the world, though, man. It's just the way some people are. Like I always say, man, look out for yourself. Self-love always comes first, because how can you love others when you can't love yourself? How can you pour into somebody else's cup when you have nothing in yours to give? You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Been like a madman, full of that Cisco with the head up in my right hand. Act, act and battle, just a part of growing up. That's why I write what I've been through and don't give a fuck. Haters turn into players when I come around now. Want to clip this brother's wings, but they don't know how. I just keep my cool, sit back and beat game. Even though you scream my name and try to feel pain. Cause you hate to see your brother from the bottom reach higher. You hate to see your brother straight walk out the fire. You hate to see your brother doing Better for itself, damn fool, don't you know? Hate this bad for your health, yeah. Why you hate me? He said, the, if he don't say nothing else on this track, he said the realest shit right there. Hate is bad for your health, man. I don't know. I think Dick Gregory said, I think it was Dick Gregory that said, man, anytime you frown or anytime you feel bad inside, you're releasing a toxic chemical in your body, man. It's kind of like the, when the, you're endorphins, man. Like, it's kind of like you, like adrenaline, man. It's like you release a chemical in your body that, you know, makes you feel some type of way, you know, being... You know, feeling bad and, you know, being angry, man, it, it, it's, it just shortens your lifespan, man. There's no reason to be angry all the time, you know what I'm saying? I try to tell people that, and then it just makes them angry, you know? <laughs> but anyways, man, I'm going to hop back into this shit. No reason at all. Why you hate me? No reason at all. I'm just trying to help y'all. Bitch made nigga. I'm trying to keep my cool. You fucking with me? Yo, I ain't fucking with you. See, it's all kind of haters, so I keep my eyes open. See, get my mouth laid back when I'm rolling. And nine millimeters ain't made to play with. But fuck with mine, it's gonna be some shit. Jealous niggas, fake grins, dirty ass backstabbers. See me on stage, crumbled up like crackers. Always shaking my hand, always screaming my name. Always calling me a nigga when your nigga beats the game. Fool, cause I'm broke, just getting what I'm here for. LD rocks the crowd. I don't want your nasty whore. Why you hate me? He said, I don't want your nasty whore. Real shit, though, man. Real shit. All my true friends turned into backstabbers. Talking behind my back like hoes, but it don't matter. Fool, and by the way, take my tape out your tape deck, ho. And tell me, what are you jamming me for? It must be an illusion. You said I wasn't gonna make it. Here's my mic, ho. Come and take it. Well, what will you see? Ain't no stopping me. Can't so why are you jamming my tape for, man? That's what you need to ask yourself. Why are you really jamming my shit? When you said, like, not even a year ago, man, I wasn't going to make it. Basically what he's saying. Uh, he said, here's my mic, ho. Come and take it. I like this shit. Stop the prophecy, so stop mocking me. From the bottom to the top. Top from the bottom. Where was all y'all fools when I was robbing and jacking? Living in the street straight up. Couldn't eat. Real shit. I like how he took that from Houdini. That five minutes of funk. You know, from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. Come on, Master D, and get funky while we got him. I like this shit. Yeah. 
seems like they just, you know, they leave your life. I feel like there are good friends out there, but they, they, you know, they come with the expiration date, man. Sometimes the universe, God, you know, God puts people in our life for a short while, you know, just to get us off the ground and get us going, man. He's, uh, you know, they're put there in our lives for a reason, man. Like, sometimes they gotta be fake for us to get to where we need to go. But, you know, I, like, I, I'm one of those people, I think everything happens for a reason, man. Like, some people were meant to be fake in our lives. Some people were meant, you know, some people were meant to bully us back in school or on the street. So, you know, even at our jobs, you know what I'm saying? We were meant to be told that, you know, we're less than nothing, you know what I'm saying? So it can make us only want to, you know, strive for better things. It, it can make us only want to push harder, you know what I'm saying? I think that people do come in our lives to, you know, get us, uh, you know, where we're at right now. Or to, you know, push us a little bit further, man. But anyways, let me, let me, uh, let me get back into this shit. So, that was a dope track, man. I appreciate you, James W.S., for putting me on to this shit, man. Aldi's always coming with some real shit. Like, he, he's more of, like, he's not like Lupe and, like, K. Reno or Mike Righteous, you know what I'm saying? He's not, like, a fast fl- spitter, you know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, me coming from the South and him coming from the South, we're much alike in that way. Like, I can just sit back and listen to him and de- decipher his message a little bit easier. Like, I can, you know, take in every word that he says. It's kind of like with other, you know, other rappers, man. I ain't gonna call out no names or nothing. You had to, like, sit there and decipher them and shit like that. And it was, I think it was Rakim, man. He he uh, he uh had a song out back in the day called No Competition. He said, uh, no dictionary is necessary to use. Big words do nothing but confuse and lose. And he was basically throwing shots at, like, uh, Kool Mo D and... Uh, I want, to, I want to say T. LaRock, you know, just anybody during that time, Special K, or LL Cool J, I think it was LL Cool J most definitely, who was throwing them 10-letter words out there, you know what I'm saying, trying to sound like they're, you know, sophisticated. You know, basically shitting on, you know, like, I don't want to say ultra-magnetic MCs. It, it could have been possibly been ultra-magnetic MCs, man. I think that was a diss to them, righteously. I think I even read that somewhere, like, no dictionary is necessary to use big words, do nothing but confuse and, confuse and lose. So I like how, you know, Al D, you know, and most of the Southern rappers, man, you ain't got to be, you know, you know, dictionary and thesaurus wise. You can just, you know, spit what you know. I think uh, Melly Mel was much, the, you know, the same way. You go back to Beat Street. I think the, you know, the most complex thing I ever heard Melly Mel say was like, uh, you know, it, it was in Beat Street. Uh, minds are polluted. Superiority complex is deep rooted. And that was some real shit. Superiority complex. Everybody feels like they better than you know the next person. And you know it's like a cycle, man. That's basically what Al D is saying. You know, he's saying that uh, you know, you wasn't down with me from the beginning. You felt like you was above me. You th- you told me I was never gonna amount to nothing. And then you know that message is split is spread all throughout hip hop, man. I think every rapper has wrote a song about, you know, rising above all the bullshit. So big shout out to Al D, man, for keeping it real, keeping it gangster, keeping it street. You know, from the South, man, I dig that shit. But like always, man, anything Al D that you want to hear, man, please feel free to put it in the comments section. 
anything in general that you would like to hear, please feel free to put it in the comments section. I have to go about this time, man. But like I always say, man, I love y'all. Continue to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Peace. I'm out.